If you have received medical care recently, you probably have noticed that our medical system is broken. You are no longer in control. Even your doctors and nurses are no longer able to exercise their expertise and best judgment. Insurance companies and government bureaucrats now seem to be in control of everything. So people who do not know you and do not care about you are making fundamental decisions about your health care. So strange things are starting to happen. When you walk into a doctor's office, clinic, or hospital, quite often you will be forced to sign forms giving up your privacy and rights before you will be given medical service. After going to the doctor, you may receive a bill or some service that you never asked for, never needed or wanted, and never knew they were even giving you. But there it is, three weeks later, a surprise bill for $600 or $6,000, which your insurance does not cover. The third largest cause of death in the USA, according to the British Medical Journal, just behind heart disease and cancer, are mistakes made by doctors, with over 250,000 deaths per year from doctor error. The rate of injury from doctor error must be staggering. Since the pandemic of 2022, you might be forced, coerced, or pressured to accept some medical treatment, while the law says you may never be forced to accept any medical treatment. In our new technological age of big data monetization, your personal medical history may be shared with people you would not choose to share that private information with. Your doctor, clinic, or hospital may be fixated on giving you highly profitable but inappropriate treatments which insurance companies will pay them for, instead of the more reliable, safe, effective, inexpensive, non-invasive treatments that you actually need. The abuses have arisen mainly because the patient interests have been marginalized, and patients are often intimidated or unable to express their concerns and needs during their medical visits. Surprisingly, most or all of those problems can be flipped if we just take some simple steps to reserve our rights and state what kind of service we require. We can do that by simply presenting a one-page document when we walk into a healthcare facility. You probably know that healthcare providers often don't give us a chance to raise questions or discuss our preferences, and we are sometimes shy about confronting the people we hope will cure us or treat us. So what we need is the least offensive way possible to put the doctor, clinic, or hospital on notice so that our personal legal positions are on the record. We need a carefully crafted document that puts you back in the driver's seat and which addresses the ways our healthcare system costs us money, makes us sick, violates our rights and privacy. You came to the right place. At freedomtaker.com, we draft and post documents so you don't have to. With our Notice to Healthcare Provider, you can empower yourself in any medical situation. At freedomtaker.com, we offer this fully drafted document on a donation basis. It's one click on the homepage, and you can download our Notice to Healthcare Provider document. You simply download and edit the document, adding some of the information your doctor needs, then hand that to the receptionist when you visit the doctor, hospital, or clinic. This notice document clearly puts your healthcare provider on notice that you will not pay for any service unless you are informed of that service cost in advance and unless you personally approve the cost before the service is provided. This notice document requires that the facility and staff be fully responsible and accountable for their mistakes, and you will never pay for the services needed to fix those mistakes. This notice document clearly states that you reserve your medical rights, and you may not be pressured or coerced to accept any medical treatment or service by anyone at any time if you decline that treatment. The notice document limits the people who are permitted to view and share your medical records. The notice document stipulates that medical service facility may not prioritize insurance reimbursements over the more practical, effective, and affordable treatments, regardless of their arbitrary protocols or undisclosed kickback schemes. Simply by handing that sheet to the receptionist, you have put the facility on notice that you are demanding a certain quality and kind of service. And this not only gives you legal standing, 
if your terms are violated. It gives you something tangible to refer to if any of those issues should arise during or after your medical visit. You don't need to be apologetic at giving them this notice. You are fully entitled to express reasonable patient terms for your treatment, especially when healthcare providers often violate the law, overcharge, damage their patients, and take no responsibility for what they're doing. You should not fail to confidently present this document to the doctor's staff. To make this even easier, when I present this notice, I put my patient information right on the same page, and I tell the receptionist, as a convenience for them, that my name, address, and birth date, and insurance information are on the form, and I just say, would you please file this page with my medical records? I have never had anyone refuse to take and file the notice or even object to doing so. In my view, if they were to refuse this notice, I would not allow that facility to provide medical services to me. All the notice does is require the medical facility to obey the law and respect my rights. If they are not willing to do that for you, do not allow them to provide medical services to you. You can download this notice with a mouse click below this video at freedomtaker.com. If you download the document, we request a $10 donation to help us maintain the website, make these videos, and provide other public services. If you are not prepared to donate, you can still get the download. The value of this notice is far more than $10 for any medical patient, but freedomtaker.com is a public service, and we would like to see everyone having and using this form, regardless of ability to pay. Because if enough of us demand responsible and ethical medical service, that broken medical industry will be a lot less broken. Just look for the download link under Notice to Healthcare Provider on the home page at freedomtaker.com. Print copies of the notice and have them with you whenever you go for any medical services. Keep notes on who you give the notice to and when you gave them the notice. By keeping records on how you use this document, you give yourself a powerful legal position in any dispute or question with your health care providers that may come up in the future. Go to freedomtaker.com and click the link to Notice to Healthcare Provider.